Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking mukbang, gangbang, finger bang, do your thing. Um, today, we got something very, very especial for you. Um, I'm collabing with the homie Snoop, aka Snoopy Eats 408. Um, we're busting out a collab. We're grubbing on some Chinese food, like some honey walnut prawns. I got the honey walnut shrimp. Um, you know, like some chow mein, lo mein kind of shit. We just got some Chinese fast food, you know, kind of grub on deck. We're going to be grubbing that. So please, um, when you're done with the video, go ahead and check out the homie. Um, uh, his video and his channel will pop up at the end, but I'll also put it in the description below. Uh, I'm also going to let you know about the time that I tried to join the Crip, um, the Crip team and how I didn't make it. Actually, uh, the homie Snoop was one of the leaders at the time, so that's when I first met him. But I've known him for some time on YouTube as well, just uh, in the mukbang community, the food bang community. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let you know about the time I tried to join Crip and I couldn't get in because I didn't pass their Crip obstacle course. So we'll go ahead and get into that. Let me go ahead and show you the food that we got on deck. So I went to Panda Express. Uh, apparently, the homie Snoop's in Canada and apparently they don't have Panda Express. They have like a PJ Panda or, or some shit like that. I, I forgot what he said. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I got. I got the chow mein, the motherfucking Beijing beef. And I got the uh, honey walnut shrimp um, on deck. So this is going to be delicious. And I'm also going to um, top it with some of this rooster chili garlic sauce. And then also, if you already know me, you know by now I got the tapatio on deck. And it ain't on deck unless you almost break the fucking table. But like I said, please get you a heavy duty table because if you break it, I'm not responsible. Also... To complete this, since it's a very special occasion, and I'm very excited to do this collab with the homie. It's been some time. Um, we've been wanting to collab. I got the Sapporo. The, uh, yeah, I was going to say Sapporo, but there's only one R. Um, there's two P's. Um, don't hate on me. If you're Asian, you're probably going to get on my helmet already. I know this is a Japanese beer, and I know I'm eating Chinese food, but they didn't have Tsing Tao. Um, I just went to the, you know, hood liquor store, your neighborhood liquor. Um, and I got this so we're gonna go ahead and drink this uh, Along with the food and then I'll go ahead and get to that story time One thing um, I don't really go to Panda Express much I've maybe been there once or twice in my life and it's been at least 10 years since I've been there So I'm not really sure what's in this. I'm guessing rice or something some spent. Oh Well, they asked if I wanted rice or chow mein and I told them just chow mein so I don't know I guess they couldn't fit the rest. Oh, this is my third entree. Okay. I forgot I got a three entree plate. See, I don't even recognize what I got. I got the um, fire roasted chicken. So check that out. Oh, yeah. That golden deliciousness, homie. Hell, yeah. So some of you are probably already, you know, your your mind's going like, why the fuck would you try to join Crip, bro? You're Mexican. We'll get there. You know what I mean? We'll get there. So let's go ahead and um, get intimately involved with this meal. I'm super excited about it. Uh, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit so you can see it better. Oh, there we go, you know. Now, now we're really talking. You can see it a little bit better, you know. You can't see it completely, but it's cool. I mean, you probably can't even see your own dick, so we're good. We're there. Let's go ahead and put some motherfucking sauce on it and get it going. I know the struggle, homie, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do this. Shout out to the homie Snoop. He's an OG, bro. He's an OG. Fuck with him. He's got some good content, you know what I mean? He goes live all the time. That's one cool thing about him. He goes live. He has lives. He gets down. He, he talks to everybody. He's very interactive. You know what I mean? Kind of like how he was in the streets, but he brings it on to YouTube now. So we're going to get this shit nice and Chinese bloody. All right. Asian bloody. All right. Now let's get it Mexican bloody. You know what I mean? With the tapatio. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. My asshole's going to burn later, homie. Pause bring back memories and shit all right let's go ahead and dig in because i really want to get into the story time at the same time i'm in no rush i hope you're not um if you are then come back a little bit later it's all good i understand so let's go ahead and dig into the shrimp first look at that homie look at that don't look at me all right mmm I actually got some more chili sauce on deck that they gave me. The fucking um, Panda Express one. Let me cover my face. Maybe you'll be able to see it. There you go. Dig it to this chow mein. Mmm. 
hell yeah. Let me get a couple more bites in before we get into the story time, homie. Alright. Hell yeah. Mm. You want some? You gotta offer the lady some in the background. She's in the back putting up with my shit, but it's cool. Alright. Extra spicy, huh? <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and um, get into the story time. Because it kind of has a lot of details to it. He do that shit. Alright. So, as some of you may or may not know, I'm from Stockton, California. That's where I currently live as well. But I've moved to different areas during my lifetime. I've even lived in Oregon. This is my first time trying this beer. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this and how you like it. It's pretty cool. It's, you know, like I said, we're bullet and shit. It's pretty dope. Cheers. Cheers to the homie Snoopy. Cheers to all my Trejo's World family. Appreciate you all. That turned into an unplanned chug, but we got that down. <coughs> Excuse me. Made my eyes water a little bit. <coughs> That's just very filling. All right. Now we can get to the story time. So, born and raised in Stockton, California, but I lived in other places from Riverside to, you know, Oregon to fucking Sacramento. All around, right? But there was one time, I was in like the San Jose Bay Area, right? I used to go to the Sharks games out there, watch the Sharks play. Have a good ass time. <coughs> Excuse me, that's the beer. Alright. So. I would chill out there, and I would always see this group of dudes at the game. And they were dressed in all blue. You know, 99% of them were African American. But they still seemed like they were having a good time, you know? I'm not a racist motherfucker. I can see when someone's having a good time. I don't care what your race is. So, at that time, I didn't really have a whole lot going on in my life. I'm not saying I was depressed, but, you know, I didn't have much going on. So, I'm not a gangbanger. I wasn't gangbanging. I mean, I was, but, you know, I mean, not like in a, as a gang. You know, more as a, a person joining a, a sexual... Anyways, let's not get into that. So, at the time, I was a free agent in the gang world. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Got to share with the lady. I was a free agent in the gang world. And, um... I was like, damn, these fools be having hella fun. You know, I want to kick it with them. At the same time, you know, they're draped in all blue. It seems like only people that kick with their people that are part of their own gang. And like I said, just from, like, the San Jose area. So, I approached them. I was like, hey, what's up, homies? You know, my name's Trejo. I'm not from the area. I'm from Stockton. But you guys look like you guys be having fun, bro. And, you know, without sounding like a nerd, I like to kick it with you guys. And they're like, yeah, it's all good, bro. We be having fun, you know what I mean? Just bring some motherfucking Hennessy next time you come, homie. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I broke through the next shark game. Shark's game. And brought the Henny. And they're like, all right, next time you come, bring the weed, homie. So, you know, I kept bringing shit. Kool-Aid, different kind of shit. You know what I mean? that they asked me to bring. And I liked all that shit too. So. Mm. Eventually, they're like, man, 
You know, you're a cool ass dude, man. You're, you're the homie. Um, we want to make you official. I was kind of like, what you mean official, homie? Like, we want you to join Crip. I was like, shit. Put me on. I ain't tripping. You know, I was, I was with it, as, as they say. I was ready. I was down with it. So, I was like, all right. You know, what do we got to do? They pretty much were like, all right. We want to put you on, but the only thing is we're under, like, a corporation. I was like, what? Corporation of Crip? They're like, yeah, exactly. That's what's called COC. I was like, okay, corporation of Crip, whatever. They're like, you got to actually go through a process. You got to put in an application. If we, if they accept your application or we accept your application, which obviously they already did, then you'll be selected for tryouts. I was like, okay. They're like, if you get selected for tryouts, pretty much the tryouts are... A crib obstacle course. So I wasn't even tripping. It sounded a little bit weird, but at the same time, I'm like, whatever, you know what I mean? Because all these dudes were like fit and shit. So I can understand they want to make sure that you know you're able to, you're able to, you know, what I'm saying, put in work, um, and not get tired, you know, out of wind and shit. So I was like, yeah, okay, it's gonna be in L.A. So that's where the headquarters of Crip is. I'm like, whatever, bro. Like you got two weeks getting shaped. So there's a two week period of time. I'm saying I was eating healthy, eating salads and shit. You know, tossing salads and shit. Doing what I had to do to get in shape. Exercising, going for fucking jogs and shit. Hitting the weights, doing push ups. And to be honest, I was a big dude, but I was able to move, you know what I mean? I was like I'll be able to get in, you know what I mean? This ain't no problem for me, bro. Oh, boy. Was I fucking wrong, homie? Before we continue on, um, just want to say again, please, um, before the video ends, subscribe to the homie Snoopy408. Snoopy Eats 408. Um, I believe 408 is the area code in San Jose. But I don't think that's why he calls his channel that. I did a little uh, deeper digging. And I think 408 is the amount of women he sleeps with per year. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Snoopy. Um, you know what I mean? Let me know. Let us all know. We kind of want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, let me continue on. All right. So I got in shape, did what I had to do. I flew out to L.A. Got to L.A., you know, went to South Central, like that type of area and was ready to go <sighs> ah, excuse me had a little bit of air built up there homie so got there was ready to go and they're like all right this is what you got to do you got to complete these 10 courses obstacle courses if you complete these we're going to go ahead and approve you and if the Crip recruiting team still wants you to be on their team for their local area, they talked like it was a business or some kind of union and shit. Whatever, bro. I was with it. They're like, if they're if they still want to approve you, you know, we'll approve you. They still approve you, then that means you're in. You know, you can start putting in work, um, and you can start, you know, claiming your stead or whatever. So I'm gonna pour some of this chili sauce on here. So uh, it was good. I was rocking them out, bro. You know, they had like a fucking, uh, like a burpee. They started off with burpees. Then they had us carrying these fucking large containers and shit. I'm not going to say what was in them, you know what I mean? But it may have been, may or may not have been Mad Dog 2020. And we were carrying those, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that we were fit, in shape, in peak condition, you know what I mean? We had to do quite a few things. Eight fucking obstacles in, right? I'm like, fuck, you know, I got this in a bag, homie. I only need two more. It's nothing, you know what I mean? It's nothing for me, homie. All right. So, on that eight obstacle course, the confidence of a fucking, <laughs> fucking madman, you know what I mean? Like, I got this, bro. Um, I went in there confident as fuck. Like, let me just, you know, knock these last two ones out. And we're good, you know what I mean? These last two ones, bro, fucking killed me. They saved the hardest for last, homie, you know what I mean? So, 
They're like, all right, you're 80% done, you know what I mean? You're almost there. You're almost in. I saw the light, bro. They're like, all right, you're not the course. Double dutch. I was like, what the fuck you mean double dutch, homie? They're like, you're going to double dutch. You got to double dutch for 10 minutes straight, bro. I was like, I got to double dutch for 10 fucking minutes straight? All right, bro. Double dutch, like... I got two joints and smoke those for 10 minutes straight, or what do you want me to do? Like, what double dust what? All right, no, you got double dust. So they had a couple of crips, you know what I mean? Having the jump ropes, you know, going and shit. I jumped in and I killed that shit, bro. I didn't think I would last that long. I was huffing and puffing and sweating and shit by the time I was done. But your boy double dust for 10 minutes straight. Now, I'm not 100% sure because, you know, things kind of went sour after my results, but I believe that the reason that they taught or they wanted people to do the double dutch is because it helps you to crip walk better in the long run or something. I'm not 100% sure. If you're a crip, let me know in the comments below if that's why you guys do the double dutch obstacle courses because you want people to crip walk better because, like I said, it went sour after that and I lost contact with everybody. All right. So... Killed that. I was like, cool. I got it in the bag, bro. One more course. I'm good, bro. I thought for like a split second, like, what the fuck am I even doing, bro? This is stupid. But then, you know, it was like a fleeting thought, you know. I was like, fuck it. Let me just continue on, you know what I mean? Tenth course. Tenth motherfucking course, bro. They're like, all you gotta do is push-ups. I'm like, for real? That's it. I'm like, bro, you had to start with burpees. You're going to have us end with fucking push-ups? Like, yep. Just do 50 push-ups. I've done 50 push-ups before. Not the easiest, but not the hardest. Even being a big dude. By that time, I was pretty tired. But, this wasn't just any fucking regular push-up, bro. They wanted you to throw up the C for crit while you were push-upping. So, they wanted you to get that C, you know what I mean, on your hands and, you know, hold it on the ground and shit and do your push-ups. Because they want you to have, like, that strong C when you're throwing it up or whatever and do those push-ups. Bro, my fucking joints, my knuckles, everything were fucking hurty, bro. I made it through four and said, fuck this shit, bro. I'm Mexican. I shouldn't even be doing this shit. I ended up quitting. I didn't even fucking finish. They were disappointed. They were like, damn, bro, we believed in you. We thought you had it in you. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, I'm going to have arthritis by the time I'm fucking 40, bro, doing these kind of push-ups, homie. So, I mean, if you see a crit, bro, you better respect them because, you know, they put in a lot of work to get where they're at, bro. You know, a lot of blood, sweat, tears, a lot of arthritis, a lot of joint pain, you know what I mean? They put a lot in, so respect your neighborhood crips, bro. You know what I mean? Um, so I didn't finish those. Um, I had to pay my own airfare to get back home and shit like that. So, it was crazy, bro. It was just a moment in my life where I wanted to belong to something and I put in the work to fucking do it. But I fell short. So, let me know in the comments below if you're a crip. And did you have like. Did you practice? Did you have conditioning? Did you know what the obstacle course would be before you became a crip? If you're a blood, let me know in the comments below if your guys' initiation process is as tough or not. You know, I know how the Mexican games roll, but I kind of want to know in the comments below. And actually, believe it or not, I do know a dude from my area who's Mexican who's a crip. I still get kind of confused about it, but it is what it is. I don't encourage anybody to, to gangbang or join a gang. Um, but if you do, you better be ready. Shit. We don't take that shit lightly. So anyways. Shout out to uh, the homie Snoop. He kept in touch with me. He ended up giving me a call a few months later. But hey, bro. I thought you was cool, man. You really, you know, pushed the limit. You showed that you were worthy. I'd like to keep in contact with you, you know. 
We can kick it from time to time. I'll be having parties all the time. But I'm thinking about moving back to Canada, so I don't know if you, you know, you ever come out to Canada, come chill with me. And so we ended up doing. To this day, I haven't been able to make it to Canada, but I'm hoping one day I can. So, shout out to the homie Snoopy Eats 408. For real, for real. Bomb channel. He got a few hundred subscribers more than me. He's a growing channel. He'll be hitting 10,000 subscribers within six months, I'll say. So let's keep him growing, keep him going, you know what I mean? Sounds like homie Trejo sent you. Mm. I'm just trying to knock the rest of this food out, homie. Pan Express is alright, homie. They're pretty good. When I ate them before, I didn't really like them too much, but... Now, I'm a little impressed. That may be the support I'm talking, but I'm still impressed. Mmm. It's just spicy as fuck, homie. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and say go ahead and say C walk in the comments below. But when you say C, type it out S E A. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Um, if you're breathing and you're human. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All vegetables at the end on me, but I gotta get my fiber in. Alright. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to watch the homie. Snoopy Eats 408. I'm going to leave his video in the link below. The description below. So you can go check out um, his, you know, honey walnut prawns, you know, chow mein, whatever he had going on. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate the support. Let's keep growing. Let's keep going. You know, let me know who you want me to collab with next. Let me know what you want me to eat next. The story is going to keep coming. Appreciate the support. My mouth is on fire. And in about two hours, my ass is going to be on fire. To the whole world. I'm gone.